Every day presents us with opportunities for growth and personal development. It's a never-ending journey of learning and improving ourselves. In this video, we will explore the concept of personal growth and provide you with actionable tips to accelerate your progress. But first, let's understand what personal growth actually means. It's the process of developing oneself and the skills, behaviors, and characteristics that help us become the best version of ourselves. It's an ongoing journey that lasts as a lifetime, and it's fueled by the constant changes we encounter in life. So where do you start? If you're already interested in self-improvement and personal growth, then you're on the right path. One way to accelerate your progress is by reflecting on your behaviors and habits. Take a moment to make a list of all the things you want to focus on, whether it's learning new things, traveling, meeting new people, or reading books on self-improvement. These are all great starting points, once you have why. Our list. Make it a habit to read or say it three times a day in the morning, noon, and night. Keep these goals at the forefront of your mind without worrying about others' opinions or seeking validation. It's important to stay focused on what you want to achieve. The next step is to take action. If reading a book on self-improvement is on your list, find one that interests you and start reading. If meeting new people is your goal, join a social group or volunteer for a local organization. By doing something new and unfamiliar, you open yourself up to new ideas and experiences. As you continue to work on your goals, remember the importance of having a growth mindset. It's about accepting challenges and seeking solutions rather than giving up. Believe that you have the potential to learn new abilities and understandings through effort and determination. Keep an open mind, explore all the possibilities, and utilize the resources available to you. Training your brain is another essential aspect of personal growth. Establishing useful routines and habits can help you stay on track and provide structure for your thinking. Regular exercise, even just 20 minutes of getting your heart pumping, has been shown to improve cognitive performance. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small, and acknowledge all your achievements. This positive reinforcement will boost your energy levels and increase your overall productivity. Keep learning new things and challenge your brain. Try to engage in a activities that target parts of your mind that are often overlooked. Learn a new language or dance, or simply take an alternative route to work. These actions stimulate your brain and help you pay attention to new things. Restful sleep is crucial for your brain's optimal functioning. Create a regular routine that allows for deep and uninterrupted sleep. A quiet room free of lights and technology can contribute to a more refreshing night's sleep, believe it or not. Your posture and facial expressions play a role in how your brain perceives your state of mind. Stand up straight and maintain a confident posture to signal to your brain that you are in a positive and empowered state. Smiling also sends signals of happiness and a positive environment to your brain. Persistence is key in personal growth, while breaks to refresh are beneficial. Consistently moving forward without fail will accelerate your progress. The momentum you gain from continuously working on your goals will propel you further and faster than you ever thought possible. Change and discomfort are catalysts for personal growth. Embrace change instead of clinging to the familiar. Step outside your comfort zone, as it is often the gateway to transformation and improvement. Learn to be comfortable with uncertainty and the unfamiliar. You never know what incredible opportunities may arise as you embark on your personal growth journey. It's essential to find sources of inspiration and motivation. The Art of Improvement Illustr. Asian Package is a valuable resource that complements the strategies discussed in this video. It contains over 250 stunning illustrations designed to inspire and guide you on your path to personal development. Each illustration captures key principles of self-improvement, serving as a constant reminder of your goals and aspirations. Investing in tools that inspire and empower you can make a significant difference in your personal growth journey. Embrace change, unlock your true potential, and elev. Eight your personal growth experience with the power of visual storytelling. To learn more about the Art of Improvement illustration package, visit artofimprovement.co.uk illustrations today. Remember, personal growth is a continuous process, and with dedication and the right resources, you can accelerate your journey. Take that next step forward, embrace change, and unlock your true potential. You have the power to become the best version of yourself. Thank you for watching this video on personal GR, OWTH, and self-improvement. If you found this information valuable, please consider giving a tip proportional to the value received. The link can be found in the video description. Now I would like to ask you, what actions from this video will you implement in your life? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Remember, your journey to personal growth starts now.
Do you ever find yourself stuck in a never-ending spiral of worry and overthinking? As an introvert, I know exactly how that feels. Our minds are always racing, searching for solutions, and fixating on what's not working. It can be exhausting, and it prevents us from truly enjoying the moments of relief and celebration when we achieve breakthroughs. But here's the thing, my friend, life can be a real doozy sometimes. Adversity is just a part of the journey. And while it's natural to worry, we can't la t ourselves get lost in a maze of negative thoughts, constantly seeking the elusive cheese of solutions. We need a different approach, a shift in perspective, that's where stories come in. They have this magical ability to change our outlook, redirect us towards progress and growth, and maybe even make our day a little brighter. So today, I am sharing four stories that will help you break free from the worry spiral and find your way back to a more positive mindset. Let's start with the story of the OL, the farmer and his horse. One morning the farmer's horse ran away, and his neighbors expressed sympathy, thinking it was bad fortune. But the farmer simply replied, well see, the next day the horse returned with a whole flock in tow, and the neighbors were overjoyed, thinking it was good luck. But again the farmer said, well see. This pattern continued with each event the horse running away, the sun breaking his leg, and the army drafting soldiers, and every time the farmer's response remained. The same well see what can we learn from the old farmer? Well, it's all about perspective. You see the neighbors were trapped in a cycle of overreacting to every event, whether good or bad. But the farmer knew better. He understood that the true consequences of any event are unknown until time unfolds its story. So instead of dwelling on extremes, we should strive to live in the middle, like the farmer calm, humble, and open to the possibilities that lie ahead. Next up, we have the story of a man who went to inquire about Zen. He was full of questions, constantly expressing his own opinions. But the Zen master, knowing that the monk's cup was already full, served him tea. As the cup reached its brim, the man exclaimed, Don't you see the cup is full, no more can go in, to which the master replied, like this cup, you are full of your own opinions, if you don't empty it first, how can you taste my cup of tea? This story teaches us the value of letting go of preconceived notions and opinions. If our minds are already overflowing with what we think we know, there's no room for new knowledge and growth. Learning isn't just about acquiring new information, it's about being open to unlearning and releasing what no longer serves us. So let go of that stick you're holding onto, and make space for the stones you're meant to pick up along your journey. Now. Picture a man and his wife traveling with a donkey. On the first day, both rode on its back, and people whispered, what a mean couple putting a LL that weight on the donkey. The next day, the man rode while the wife walked beside, and people whispered, what a cruel man forcing his wife to walk while he rides. On the third day, the man walked while the wife rode, and people said, what a careless man letting his wife ride alone. And on the fourth day, both walked beside the donkey, and again people whispered, what a stupid couple. Why walk if they could ride this story reflects the reality of judgment and the generalization of behavior and, no matter what you do, people will always have something to say and judge. But here's the secret those judgments are not a reflection of who you are. They are merely projections of others overflowing cups, spilling into their perceptions of you. So hold your head high, ignore the whispers, and remember that everyone is on their own journey, just like you lastly. Let's talk about the story of two men who visit a Zen master looking for advice. The first man asks about moving to a new town and when the master inquires about his old town, the man describes it as terrible, filled with mean people. The master then tells him, this town is much the same. Don't move here. Soon after, the second man enters and asks the same question. But this time, when asked about his old town the man describes it as wonderful. And the master replies, this town is very much the same, I think you will like it here, what we seek is what we find. Our perception of the world shapes our experiences if we approach leaf. You with negativity and pessimism, we will continue to encounter negativity. But if we choose to seek the positive, to stay optimistic, and to focus on the good, our experiences will reflect that mindset. So my friend, be mindful of your intentions, for they will shape your path and ultimately determine what you find along the way. So there you have it, four stories that will help you break free from the worry spiral. Remember the old farmer and his perspective, the empty cup of the learned man, T. He couple on the donkey, and the seeker's journey in the town. Let these stories guide you towards a more positive mindset, and a deeper understanding of the power of perspective. And now my friend, I have a question for you which of these stories resonated with you the most, and how will you implement the lessons into your own life? I invite you to reflect on these questions, and make a commitment to embrace a new perspective, to let go of worry and overthinking and to find joy in the present mo. Meant, 
If you found this video valuable and enjoyed the stories I shared, I encourage you to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and hit the notification bell. By doing so, you'll stay up to date with our latest content and join a community of like-minded individuals on a journey towards personal growth and fulfillment. And before we part ways, I want to mention that if you found this video particularly impactful and feel compelled to show your appreciation, you have the option to give a tip P proportional to the value you received. The link to contribute will be provided in the video description. Thank you for watching my friend. Remember, life is a journey full of twists and turns, but with the right perspective, we can navigate through it with grace and find joy along the way. Stay positive, stay curious, and keep seeking wisdom. Until next time, take care.